Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial of Task Planner. In this video, we will be importing certain dependencies for our Next.js backend and also we will be creating some boilerplate code so that we will be able to run and decode everything. Right, so without any further delay, if you are not following me over to my Instagram, you are missing it out. I am regularly uploading the cool new reels, posts, live sessions, IGTV, etc. and etc. that will help you in your developer journey. So if you are not following me there, kindly follow me there is completely free right so moving toward this video in the previous video we have set up our entire project here right we have got our main.ts file op modules and two different modules so in this video what we will do we will be importing certain dependency that will be helping us in creating our database right so for the task planner we will be using postgres as our main database right so here what we have to do we have to simply go onto our terminal and install certain dependencies so here i'll simply write npm i that is npm install the first dependency will be dot env after that we will be installing express after that we will be installing nodemon pg for postgres and after that type orm this will be all the dependency that will be requiring throughout so if you have got this dependency what you have to also do you have to also get your dependency known as force and that's it simply press enter and all the following dependencies will be installed under our package.json file right all of the following dependency will be added here Alright, so what we have done here, what we have installed dependency outside our folder. So what we have to do now, uh, we have to simply go under our task planner application and here we have to install all the dependencies. Right, my bad, nothing happens. Simply, uh, what I have to do now, I have to simply delete the entire node modules folder and also these two files. Right, let's delete it, human mistake, happens. Cool, so right now under our uh, task planner folder, we have to simply get the following dependencies. So if I read it again, I should be able to get all the dependencies here. After the dependencies, we have to also get some developer dependencies. If we got some error, we will be installing the dependency on the current time. So right now you can see we have got all the following things here. Right, so now what we have to do, we have to simply start writing our code for the connection of our backend. That is connection of backend of our database. Right, so here under my source, you can see we have got our modules folder. But here I will be getting one more folder known as database called db right under this db folder we will be writing all of our code regarding our backend so here i'll be simply creating a folder known as config just like this and after this i'll be creating a folder known as entity right now i'll be explaining everything about what, why we are writing this folder etc etc but for now let's write the code right so under my db i will be creating a file known as database dot module dot typescript after this i will be creating a file known as database.provider the same thing that we have done under our task module and presenter right so this will be all the following uh, configuration for our database the first one will be a configuration folder in which we will be adding our credentials of our postgres after this we will be having the entity what is entity entity will be a separate models for all the table tables under our postgres database right that database module will be a simply a module and the provider will be a link through which we will be providing our backend resources that is database resources to all the different modules right now this might look somewhat complex but once i keep progressing forward you will be understanding why we are creating all of the bunch of the files right so right now what you have to do make sure you have installed postgres under your system right because without installing postgres in your system uh, whether it is windows or mac or linux we won't be able to move forward right so i have some resources that i will be dropping under description box so you have to move through those resources and install postgres under your system right so right now you can see if i simply write here psql hyphen uh, capital u and postgres I, I will be able to write the following password here just like this and here i will be enter i will be able to enter on my postgres shell right and if i simply say backslash l i will be able to check all the following backends that is the uh, tables for our entire application right so here you can see i have got a database for all the different type of application but now what you have to do you have to create a new table in a task planner a new database in a task planner now i'll show you how to write that right so here what i can do now i can write my enter and my psql shell one more time right so here you have to simply write the following command create database and the database name right so here it should be your database name and a hyphen right but i have already created a database for task planner so i won't be able to, so i don't need to write the following command 
but you should be writing the following command to create a new database right once you have created your database you will be able to store data under a database right so we won't be requiring postgres shell for now so let's remove it out so right now we can see we have got our db folder under it we have got certain files right so first of all you can see under my config i will be a creating a new file known as orm config right so here i'll be simply writing a new file orm config dot typescript the following orm config will be uh, containing our database credentials for example whenever you will be creating your database you should be getting your master password and a master username right so we need to write the, the both of these things under our orm config now i have got some of the boilerplate code so i'll simply paste my boilerplate code here Right, so I'll uh, you will be able to see the boilerplate code in the description. Kindly check that. So under this boilerplate code, you have to write your Postgres type. That is your database type, which is Postgres. Host to be localhost because currently we are testing our application or to development mode. The port should be strictly 5432 because it is Postgres database port. Username, password, database, the following entity thing, and all the CLI and migrations. Now don't worry, I will be a uh, mentioning the following boilerplate file in the description box simply copy that code and paste it under your orm config.ts file don't think about it but make sure you are writing the proper name of your database that you have created my own it task planner your one can be somewhat different and different right so once you have got this file here what we have to do now you have to simply go under your uh, database provider right so under database provider what you have to do you have to simply create a new constant known as connection right it will be a list here so under my connection what you have to do i have to simply first of all write a new object now don't pay attention to red lines because this is due to the prettier uh, extension right so here i'll simply say i will be providing here a database connection right so here i'll simply say i will be providing here database connection after this what i'll do i'll say use a factory right before that what i can do also do i can simply say import the following thing so here under use factory what you have to do you have to simply write an asynchronous function here right now i am calling you one more time you have to write the following thing under uh, that is you have to learn about what is typescript one more time right so here i'll be simply importing connection right so here i can simply uh, over it and i can simply say add import from connection right but right now the following connection is depreciated because we don't have any alternative for it but as the following days will be passed on you will be getting the alternative for the connection but for right now you can simply write here connection which is depreciated if I hover over it, you can see the declaration is depreciated here. But no problem, we are still working over it. Right, so after this, what you have to do, you have to simply say the following function will be awaiting for a create connection method. So here I'll simply say create connection. And after this, I have to simply say the following create connection. All right, let me simply remove all the red lines. Yeah, so my create connection method will be simply requiring the path to my ORM config. Right, so you have to simply write the following part to your ORM config. And what I can do, I can simply import create connection from my type ORM as well. Right, so here what I can do, I can say I'll import create connection from our type ORM. Just like this. Right, so here my create connection, if I hover over it, the create connection will be requiring a connection source. So for a connection source, what I can do, I can simply say dot slash the config folder. Just like this, the config folder. And after config folder, I'll simply say ORM config. Right, make sure the following name is correct one because once you are writing the like wrong spelling, you will be getting bunch of errors. Right, so you can see my create connection will be requiring to uh, the path which is dot slash config slash ORM config. Right, so this should be it. This should be uh, with the help of this, we should be able to create the connection. And at the last, you have to simply export the following connection. So don't forget to export the entire connection. After this, what you have to do, you have to simply go under your database module and you have to simply write some boilerplate code. Now for the boilerplate code, I can copy the following code from this side and paste it here. Now I'll call the following module to be a database module, right? A database module, just like this. Now let's auto fix everything. Yeah. So uh, what I have to provide under our imports. Now our database module won't be having any import, but a provider. Right, so here I can simply say the provider will be a connection. Right, so here I'll simply append it with a connection. Right, so I can simply hover over it and I can say, uh, Alright, so let's manually import the following connection because the auto uh, import is not working here. Right, 
So if I go under device provider, I should be able to export my collection here. That's auto fix everything. Yeah, we should be able to export it and yeah. Right, I guess we have right a wrong spelling here. The same thing that I was frightened of. Yeah, connection. Just like this. Yeah, so we are simply providing our connection here. And after this, I'll simply say export some things. And the some things will be nothing but our connection one more time. Right, just like this. We have to simply provide the following connection to our database module. And after that, we have to simply export it as well. Right. Now, we have completed our database module. Right, so once we have completed our database module, we have to simply open the following database module under our app module so simply hover over it and import it right so let's hover over it and import it from our db slash database module and quick fix all the problems right so we have provided our database module to our app module and finally our app module is simply providing all the data to our nest factory right so this is how things will be going on we will be creating bunch of files and finally we will be providing the following connection of the files to our database module through provider exports and imports and finally, we will be providing the entire database module to our main module of app module. Right. So, this is how things will be going on under our next year's thing. Right. So, make sure you have completed the following things here. That is, you have set up your entire application. You have created data database for your task, uh, task plan application. You have write the following code. You have created the following connection, created a module and provided that module to our app module. Right. In the next video, we will be creating tables under our database for our task planner also we will be creating certain services such as create tasks fetch tasks etc and etc right so till then please complete the following code till this point and i'll see you in the next one